My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We have a pretty special 1971 Chevrolet C10 truck. It has 3,200 miles since a body off the frame restoration. It's done very meticulously well in my opinion. It's got some nice features. This is a show and go truck. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures, get the price, not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars all for sale at volocars.com. If you like watching the videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon and you will be notified as the new ones are posted. Right now, let's go for a spin in a C10. Yeah, it's got a look to it, doesn't it? It's bright red, aluminum wheels, got the step side uh, box in the back, and of course you can't miss the dual chrome stacks. Those are functional. Uh, I guess we'll start with the underneath. The body was removed from the chassis. The whole bottom of the truck is all clean, solid metal. It was prepped and it was painted in Linex. That's this durable uh, sealer. Nothing will hurt the underneath of this truck. And he color matched it. So underneath the truck is all red Linex. Now the chassis was all clean, painted black, and completely rebuilt. The whole front end, <clears throat> You know, ball joints, bushings, steering, it's all rebuilt. Same thing in the back. The springs, bushings, shocks, uh, so suspension's all redone. Has a dual exhaust uh, system, obviously. It has Dynamax mufflers. It has a flexible pipe because the box and the body might twist differently. So there's one section of flex pipe in there. Uh, and of course, it has the covers over the exhaust. They're all chrome or stainless. Uh, getting back underneath, you look up at the motor, it's spotless, there's it's no grease, the freeze plugs are still look new, the starter looks new, has a heat shield around the starter because there's a set of coated headers next to it. Uh, it's a turbo 350 automatic trans, it has Auburn Posi gears in the back, of course the brakes were redone, uh, it has disc in the front. So underneath this truck is rebuilt and show quality. Uh, the body itself, beautiful glossy red finish. The body is clean and straight. The doors, the tailgate, they open and close super easy. There's no issues, no, <clears throat> no problem areas. I'm not saying it's a $20,000 paint job. Like going around in the light, I see a minor, minor dimple there. You might find like dust in the paint or you know, something very insignificant. But overall, this is a beautiful paint job. I'd put this up against any factory paint job. It, it's that nice. It's at least as good as a, a factory paint job. Uh, so it, it's got a 90s style uh, step side bed. The rubber pads are real nice. Nothing wrong with the tail lights. They are a little bit dull. I don't know if they'll polish up or what. Uh, tailgate, like I said, opens up easy, straight. It's not dented, damaged, rusted. It's actually a mint box and it's sprayed with the Linex bed liner. See that functions real well. Has a roll pan with the recessed license plate. Uh, they put a new sliding window in here, new windshield. All the rubber gaskets run, all the glass is all new. Gas cap, door handles, mirrors, emblems, marker lights are new. They're 15 inch weld racing wheels. They could be polished a little more if you sit down on a milk crate, spend a little time on each wheel, you'll really get them to pop, but there's nothing wrong with them. BF Goodrich tires have a lot of tread. This all looks new. The grill, the bezels, bumper, this all looks like it's been replaced. The show quality motor compartment, even the hood opens exceptionally easily. Uh, you can see all gloss red, the core supports all gloss black, the firewall's beautiful. I mean, th this is nice. This is show quality. Uh, the motor is a rebuilt 350. It's got a little bit of a hotter cam. I mentioned it has coated headers, aluminum intake, Edelbrock carb, uh, General Motors electronic ignition system. 
uh, chrome Edelbrock valve covers and air cleaner. Door jams are painted nice. Uh, new weather strips, new sill plates. The whole interior was gutted. All the metal is gloss red, painted real nice. <clears throat> Custom upholstery. I really do like the seats. The gray tweed with the red piping. Uh, it's real sharp looking. And when I sat in there, it's also real comfortable. That seat's rebuilt. It's firm. It feels real nice. And then it has the matching door panels, kick panels, and headliner. All new instrument panel. And he, he bought the gauges with the factory tachometer and gauges. And those are all new. The bezel's new. Everything in here is new. The visors, the mirror, the dome light, uh, the carpet, the pedals, uh, the heater controls look new. It's got a tilt column with a leather steering wheel. The dash pad is new. He put specialty power windows in here. So that's been added uh, from the roll-up windows. And it has a really good sound, and it's, it's you know, a little bit dated, but it's got a kick-butt stereo system with a subwoofer, CD changer. It's got an amp. It's even got a little blower in the amp to keep it cool. Getting back in here, everything looks new and tidy. The wiring, everything's run so neat and clean. Uh, the power brake booster system was all new. The alternator, the pulleys, the radiator, the shroud, the fan. Uh, the battery is real nice and clean. It's bolted down properly. The wiring, as much as can be run behind the fenders, it's done that way, so it's nice and clean. Uh, just a spotless, spotless uh, engine compartment. Uh, getting back to the interior, it's got this little console just sitting here. Also, I do have this documentation that comes with it. The glove box liner is new. Everything's just meticulously done. It's just, it's just a really nice truck. It truly is. Let me fire it up for you. I mean, it just runs perfectly well. I bought it from the guy who built it. He restored it himself. He's owned it. I don't know, I'll have to look at the title. He's owned it a long time and just didn't use it. it. Sounded like he had several cars that he built. Tachometer works. Motor's as smooth as can be. Even though it has those stacks, you can hear they're quiet, but not obnoxious. So there you have it. I think it's a great truck. That's my opinion. If you have specific questions or concerns, go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman on there. If you have specific questions, ask them. They can help tell you about the truck. They'll help with the financing, delivery, all the paperwork. Go to volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on that bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next video that comes out. Thanks for watching.